place is so far out here, bro. Yeah. You touch the green light if you fought in the Revolutionary War. Oh, Whoa. that's strong. I got this overwhelming, musty smell. But I don't see any bear or deer. Is there? Yeah, see one more time. Are we in danger from the creature that lives here? Okay. Uh, that's a yes. Well, thank you. What is up, guys? Welcome back to our Southern Afterlife Adventure. Guys, tonight I am here. I'm back in Tennessee. We are at the Lost Creek Cemetery. Of course, I'm with John. Hey! Exploration Unknown. Check out his channel. Links in the description. But last time we were here, we had rocks thrown at us. We had like logs being thrown through the woods, hitting trees and stuff. And we also heard what sounded like big wings flapping. I've been out here once before. We got scared so bad we took off. We get out of here. But tonight, we are actually set up to stay the night in this cemetery. And it's, it's gonna be pretty crazy. All right, guys. John is walking on that side. That's where we did all our investigating last time. It was all in there. I don't even think we came up here last time. So I'm gonna take a walk around. See if there's anything interesting. This place is all overgrown. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it through the bugs, but it sounds like footsteps over here. You can see, it looks like a grave that's sunk in right there. I'm really hoping we don't come across any bear tonight. I got protection with me, but I don't want to use it. I'm trying not to step on any graves. There's so many of them. Look how far that sunk in. If you guys see anything or hear anything, please drop it in the comments. Sounds like someone talking behind me. Guys, this is insane. I hope. Seriously, all we have is like some snacks and drinks, and we're gonna be in the car all night. So we're gonna do our investigation out here. I got my equipment with me, and then we're just gonna post up in the car. We'll have some cameras rolling and stuff, and we'll see if uh, we can spot anything. Last time we didn't see anything. We heard a lot of stuff. And things got thrown at us. This place already has me on edge. It's like a weird circle of headstones right here. The deep holes where everything's sinking in. Try to walk in between them all. Eighteen eighty eight. Guys, it is so dark out here. It's 
sound like a growl. Hello? Okay guys, so as you can see, this is the, the clip here. There's no sound effects underneath it. This is the original editing screen. This is the introduction music. So I'm gonna play this right now so you can hear it in real time as it's on my editor. Sound like a growl. Hello? Y'all, my hair is standing up right now. That didn't sound like an animal. I think I'm gonna try a necrophonic just to see if I get any responses. Is there anybody out here with me? It just said growl. Who growled? Mean something or other. Am I safe here? I just said never. said leave. Bro, something growled at me. Dude, are you hearing this other voice like screaming? I haven't heard any screams over here. But I definitely heard a growl come from the woods. Really? Yeah. And then when I turned Necrophonic on, first thing it said was growl. Really? Yeah. But I was standing right here and it came from like that open area. Like, I can hear your voice and stuff from over there, but I keep also hearing, like, somebody, I don't know, it's this other voice and it's loud. See, I can't, I can't even hear you over here. There's so many bugs. See, what's weird is I can hear you fine over there, like you're next to me almost. Really? Yeah, I really can. Over here, when you talk, it's almost like a dead... Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like another growl came from over here. It was like breathy. Yeah. I mean, this cemetery is just it keeps going into the forest, man. Yeah, there's tons of graves in the woods. Yeah. Bizarre. This is only a small, small portion of what's actually here. I mean, all through the woods, it looks like this. It almost looks like rocks, but they're all headstones from the 1800s. I just saw something staring at me in the trees, like eye shine. What's up, bro? There. Look at that. What is that, bro? I, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what that is. Let's walk with caution, bro. Almost looks like it's moving. Is it moving? I can't tell what that is. It's too far. It doesn't come up on my camera. But there is actually is something an right there. Or is this just a weird log? As I'm getting close, I'm starting to think it's just like the end of a log. It's, it kind of looks like a root ball. Dude, I just heard that growl again. I did too. Yeah, I still can't tell what that is.
Dude, watch out for spiders, they're everywhere. Yeah, they are. There's something about this spot over here, bro. Yeah, it kind of makes your hair stand up. I still... I guess that is a tree root. Is it? I can't tell if it's a tree root or an animal. Like a dead animal. I thought it was might have been a dead animal. Holy cow, that's a big old spider down there. <laughs> yeah, it's just a root ball, man. You can see why from a distance I was really nervous about what that was. Yeah. Look at that tree. There's some big old spiders in here, dude. There is. It's starting to wig me out. Well, I'm definitely sleeping in the car. I'm not sleeping on the ground. Yeah, for sure, man. You can forget that. I mean, there's another spider right there. Where? Oh, yeah. Dude, there was one half dollar size over on the ground. He's moving the leaves as he's crawling. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So I'm trying to use my batteries sparingly. Now, my light is rechargeable, so I can't just pop a new battery into it. And my flashlight's rechargeable too, so I'm trying to balance out usage, um, keep my light like a 70% or so, so I still get good footage. And then when I hear something, I'll flip my headlamp on and try to see what it is. We're going to try to stay till daylight, pretty much. But hopefully we can get this done. You know, this is something that a lot of you guys have wanted since we came here the first time. So pretty much the plan tonight is we're going to chase anything that we hear and see if we can catch something on film. Whether we're scared or not, we're going to go after it. About where John is at is where we actually had the rock thrown at us. And it came from this side, over there, and came across and hit the other bank. So it was thrown from somewhere up in this part of the cemetery. Now I've got the K2 with me. Isn't it crazy how they just dug the road out and the graves are up on the hill? The headstones are right there. Guys, to tell you the truth, I don't know if this thing is more like a cryptid or if it's paranormal. It's somewhere right along through here, man. Yeah. Because I remember that big tree up there. Right, and whatever, it hit the top of the bank and roll down behind my feet. I just remember it rolling down the bank and I'm like, we're like, no, let's get out of here. Because that was a pretty big element of danger. Yeah, if that would have hit one of us, we would have been hurting for sure. Yeah, that could have killed us, man. I wonder if whatever was here is still here. I imagine it wouldn't go anywhere. I don't see why it would. Go right over here. If there's any spirits here, you can come touch this green light. Nothing that we have can hurt you. Bro, bro, bro. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you can you step away from it? Thank you. Very wow, much. Bro. That was insane. Dude, dude, dude. Do you all see this? I don't know if it's showing up on my camera. I don't know, man. Is this too the bright? The light's bright, I think. Like... Okay, so thank you so much. All right, so we're going to... There it goes again. That is crazy, man. So we're going to ask you some questions. And if your answer is yes, I want you to touch the green light. Do you understand? You do. Thank you very much. Step away from it for me, please. Thank you. Wow. That is insane. There's not been any electricity here, I don't think, ever. So, like, we know there's no... No, we're in the middle of the woods. Yeah, this place is out in the middle of nowhere. So, okay, I'm going to ask you some questions. Did you live in this area? If yes, touch the green light for me. Okay. 
Wow, that's strong, man. That is strong, dude. Those that's, things are hard to set off. They are really hard. Look at that. It's it's redlining. Can you touch the green light if you fought in the Revolutionary War? Oh, Whoa. that's strong. All right, well, thank you. That is insane, bro. It's like on point. Were you the first person buried here? Did you know the unknown soldier? Whoa. Ooh. Dude, that is insane. It's like pegging out. Look at that. Wow. Thank you very much. That's the most I've ever seen that thing light up. Did you fight alongside the unknown soldier? That would be a yes. Well, thank you. If I set up some equipment to where you can speak to us, would you tell us your name? This, this person, this wants to talk, man. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. I don't think we did anything down here last time. No, we were just walking around. Are you okay with us being here? Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Are we in danger being here? Oh, wow. Are we in danger from the creature that lives here? Okay. Uh, that's a yes. Well, thank you. I got this overwhelming musty smell. But I don't see any bear or deer. Josh, there's something moving over here. Is there? Yeah, move towards me. I don't know what it is. Okay, it took off. I hope I got that on camera, bro. That was big. I don't know where it went. Look here where I got that. Bro, that smells like following me. It ain't me, I shallow, I promise. But it smells like wet fur. Right now I'm just trying to get a visual. Let's keep an eye on our six now. I don't see it now. It was big and it moved. Not really towards you, but towards the opposite direction. Yeah. Bro, there's something big out here. Yeah. Big, big. That was huge, dude. I don't know what it was, but it was huge. I don't know if I'll make it tonight. <laughs> Bro, we gotta, we gotta do it. We're gonna do it, man. We're gonna do it. Hey, guys. I don't know what this thing is. Weird humming sound coming from the head. I just went away. I don't know if I caught it. That was weird. We came back to get the the dimension portal in the S box. And as soon as I closed the the truck hatch, it sounded like a humming noise coming from the woods. It was very machine like. Yeah, there's there's nothing over there. No, there's nothing here. Like you look at satellite image and it's just forest. I will put a satellite image on the screen so you guys can see like how secluded we are. We have a dimension portal set up with the S box, and we're already getting responses. Can you tell us your name? You say owl? That's what it sounded like. That actually makes me nervous. Who is the soldier we were speaking to? Party people. Something people. Do you know the name of the unknown soldier? Lewis. Lewis? Sound like Lewis. 
Would be asking? Yeah. Wouldn't be asking or would be asking? Maybe it was wouldn't be asking. Should we not ask who he is? What is your name? I don't even know what that said. I don't know, i have to listen to that back. I thought maybe Richard, but... It had that sound to it. Are you buried here? Well, you're gonna be. Yeah. I don't wanna be buried here. Is that okay if I don't? We come in peace and me no harm. The temperature's dropping, bro. It is. It's 76 now. It was 79 when you first turned it on. Yeah. Are we in any danger of being here? I heard a yeah, but it was like a whisper. Can you speak up for me? Are we in any danger of being here? It's that same like muffled voice. Some behind you. Who's behind us? Or what's behind us? Is there a winged creature that lives here? Something about it knows where we're, where you're at. Yeah. Will it hurt us? That's her another footstep, bro. Why what? is it here? They say something's coming over to you? That's what it sounds like. Come on, Edge, bro. I think it said Edge back. Something Edge. What's your name? How many of you are here with us right now? Are you sad that this cemetery has been forgotten? We are here to talk something or other. Yeah. We're here to talk about this. Is that what it is? Well, we're listening. We want to hear your story. Some crazy responses, bro. Yeah. I'm here waiting. 
if you, if you look, look old places, something, you'll yeah. find them. I'm not sure I want to find them. I guess I like to find them on camera. Yeah. Can this creature hurt us or kill us? I'm not sure what that said. I ain't either. I'm not sure I want to know what that said. Well, if you're watching this, you know at least one of us survived. Yeah. Bro, if something happens, upload my video. Okay. If I can get your memory card. Good point, good point. What did it say? I mean, the last thing sounded like a bottle of Dookie. <laughs> Man, <I'm laughs> Guys, when, I, when I'm in a stressful situation, I try to make light of it, and usually it resorts to humor. So, yeah. this is a serious situation in all actuality. It said, fine, have it your way or something like that. That's what it sounded like. Are you upset with us? It might feel like, it might feel like we're not listening because we're not understanding what's coming through it. Maybe. If we're not responding to you appropriately, or not saying what you want, we might not understand you. Can you try to speak louder? Dude, look at the temperature. I know, it's going from... Staying at 75 now. It was bouncing from 75 to 76. Young man. Yeah, that's what I heard too. The unknown soldier. Was he from here too? Same house. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Was he your brother? Were you friends? What? I'm not understanding what it's like. Maybe when we listen back, it'll make sense. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'll definitely try to add some subtitles here. We were quality men? That's what it sounded like. We're quality men. I'm sure you were. It must have been a brutal war. I appreciate your service and fighting for our freedom. Yes, thank you for your service. I don't know if you know this, but we are allowed to be free and pursue the life we want to pursue because of the wars you fought. And we just want to thank you for that. Is there anything you would like to tell us? That female for that for a Yeah. Maybe if I speed it up a little bit, it'll be easier for them. They'll have more sounds to work with. You heard footsteps? Yeah, I heard footsteps. And they sounded extremely close. That's what I heard last time, bro. It was like right behind you. What was that scream that just came through there? You trying to warn us or something?
Do you need help? Wow. Ooh, spider just chilling. Our website. <laughs> Something website. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. I think it might be time to try a different location. And guys, the radio stations are cycling so fast. There's no way we can get a whole commercial or something through that. Well, thank you for everything that you told us. And thank, thank you again for your service. What? Something get your bags? Yeah, bags are back. I think it said you're right. So it must have been backs. Get your backs. I'm getting real Dude. Energy. What? I just heard a crunch over there. I'm getting real uneasy standing down in this hole. Is there something out here with us? So? It sounds like it. Did you hear that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a stick breaking, like right here. Now, let's get out of this hole, bro. Yeah. I feel extremely vulnerable now. Something there. definitely has a high ground on us. Exactly, and I don't like it. Let's, let's move to a higher ground. Yep, I agree. All right, guys. We got out of where we were. So we're up here, a little closer to the car. We're heading to the unknown soldier's grave. And I got the puck with me. It's the paranormal puck. Couldn't tell if something took off or... I don't know. I don't know if something just got thrown, something fell. I don't see anything through this. It's way too dense to get into. It's not safe at all. I don't know, bro. Did you hear that knock, bro? Huh? I just heard a knock. came from like out this way. I don't know man, let's set this up. Yeah. Things keep distracting us, man. Because back in here I feel like is where whatever this creature that's here lives. Yeah. Alright, so this is the unknown patriot of the Revolutionary War. Oh, it says friend of Henry Rice, bro. We gotta oh. see if we got Henry. I wonder if... That's that... why I asked if it was the friend. Yeah. Call it spiders around it. Oh, no. Is there anybody out here with us? Hot. Hot. Usually it takes them a second to... Dude, I'm getting a weird figure on the ground showing up periodically back here. Really? Yeah, it does not look... I'm sorry, I didn't hear anything you just said. This... It ain't showing up, but it almost looks spottery-like. 
It's on the SLS, guys. I got it going to see. Can you show yourself one more time for me? Uh, that's strange, bro. That is strange. Who are we seeing? Feel. Feel. All right, so if you guys don't know what the puck is, it has a bunch of sensors in it that basically pulse out energy that can be manipulated and it reads how something is manipulating it. And my phone relays the message back to me. So it's not just an app. There's a physical device there that is sending the information to my phone. It almost works as a translator. Yeah, it's pretty much a translator. Are you the unknown soldier? Body. Body. That's a little more relevant. Yeah. Like, it's my body, but it's not me. Bro, I thought I saw something move. Like it went behind that tree. You're not alone out here. We're definitely not alone. I don't know, this, this spot over here, man, really sets me on edge. Well, we're so close to the, the woods. Yeah. I think I see some, I saw some eye shine. It's down low, like waist high. Where are you seeing it at? Like, see that stick that comes off from the side of the tree? Yeah. It's like two and a half foot, three feet off the ground. It's green. It just went away. Well, we got a long night ahead of us still. Yeah, we do. Let's take a break for a little bit. Yeah, guys, it's going on like 3 in the morning right now. So I think we're going to do is head back to the car. Um, I'm going to pick up my equipment. And we're just going to hang out and see if we hear anything. Maybe take a, a short nap if we can. I'm tired. Um, it's, it's been a long journey out here for sure. I think just the, being a nervous wreck adds, yeah. adds to the, the stress, you know. It's it exhausting. Is, it exhausts you for sure. Guys, well, we are back in the car. And um, John's here. I think we're going to take a little break. Maybe try to take a nap. We got the windows cracked so we can hear anything outside. But nothing can really get into us or chilling over here but um we got some some interesting evidence so far we got a lot of responses on the dimension portal and um we got some crazy stuff on the k2 that was pretty pretty wild yeah. These are the best responses i've gotten in a long time yeah it was really good responses on the k2 so i will update you guys if anything happens if we hear anything i'll start recording again but i'm gonna save battery while we're sitting out here John wake up mm. what bro something just shook all the trees over there really it was big where
bro. We gotta go out there. Are you serious? Something, something's moving? Yeah, something's moving out there, bro. Okay. Hello? So what did you hear, bro? Bro, it sounded like something just crashed through these trees. Bro. Dude, did you hear it? It ran this way. Oh my God. It was right here. It just took off through the woods, man. I heard it go that way. It's still going, it's bro. It's still going, it's still going. It's back here. Oh my God. Big right in the car. Oh, Bro, it's deep in the woods, whatever it is. It was big. It was huge, man. Let me look over here. I want to see if I can see any tracks or anything. And that smell is so strong. Oh, I smell it. Oh, my God. Do we look for any kind of tracks to a trail? Yeah, it went right through here somewhere. Oh, it smells getting stronger, bro. Oh, dude, this is a clearing. Oh, the, the weeds are deep. Oh, my God. This, I don't know what I'm stepping on, bro. It sounds weird. Yeah, watch out, man. Yeah, they can be snakes or anything out here. Dude, they definitely awesome. came through here. It came through here. I don't see any tracks. I smell it. Oh, well, I do. Look at those broken branches right there in front of you. Oh, my God, yeah. Wow. It definitely came through here. It definitely came through here. Dude, I don't know. It's, this ground's weirding me out, man. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, they... that... I don't know, bro. Dude, that was huge. I, don't wish... I hope one of us got it on camera, man. Whoa. What? Big old spider web. Go this way, man? Yeah, go that way. Dude, it was like right in here. Cause it was like it was the big, right man. Here we're moving. It's like something was checking us out, and then I moved, and it went. Was so that you woke me up? It must have spooked it. Was that tree down before? Which one? The one laying across. Oh, that looks like a fresh, fresh break. That does. Maybe that's what you heard, man. Maybe. But I swear, something was like right next to the car. Like it was checking us out. Oh, wow. Dude, you woke me out of a deep sleep, man. I had just nodded off. Sorry it took me a minute. I was groggy. Oh, you're good, man. I'm awake now. After whatever it was took off, man, it was like right here. Yeah. It was like right here. I saw these bushes moving, and you can hear it just through the woods. Well, you can see the broken branches that were in the woods. Yeah. Holy cow, man. Oh. I don't know, bro. It's like 4 in the morning right now. 4.30. Oh my god, yeah. My heart's racing. 
It's not going to come back, is it? It's like oh, it, it went out far, man. It it's gone. I have to look and see if I caught shadows or something on camera. I hope one of us got something, man, because that was big. It was close. And it wasn't like a deer or anything like that. That thing was big and it was moving. It was hauling some ants out of here. Yeah, because it, it cut right through here. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it went right through there. That even looks like a path it made. Oh, wow. I left the car open. I got out so quick. Dude, if something's in the car, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm getting too old for this, Josh. Well, let's, let's chill for a little bit in the car and see yeah. anything else, man. All right, guys, it has been a crazy night out here. So much has happened. We've heard so much. Like, things have been moving in the bushes and everything. But it's currently like 6.30 in the morning or so. I'm not sure. My phone's dead. We don't have any signal out here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe we did this. And just thank you all for all your support.